In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you catch your floats in color work. This is my Navajo cowl pattern, and because there are areas in this pattern where there are numerous stitches between color changes, you'll need to make sure you catch your floats. Catching your floats will help keep the back of the work looking tidy and help prevent the yarn from snagging when you take the garment on and off. This is the start of another Navajo cowl, and I'm going to show you how I catch my floats. I'm going to go ahead and get set up here. Um, I'd like to catch my floats about every three to four stitches. And working with the gray here, I got to knit five stitches, and I'm going to show you how I catch my float with my light blue yarn. So I go ahead and I knit, uh, I'm going to knit three stitches here. And then to catch my light blue float, I'm going to insert my needle and bring the light blue yarn over the needle. Go ahead and knit with the gray. And then my next stitch I just knit regular and you'll see on the back that the light blue yarn was caught by doing that move there. So now I got to do two light blue stitches. I'm going to do three I'm just following my chart work. And now I'm at another point where I'm going to be knitting five stitches with my light blue. And since I like to catch my floats every three to four stitches, I'm going to show you how I catch the gray float. So I'm going to start knitting my light blue. I'm going to go three stitches here. And then to catch my gray float, I'm going to pull up the loop to the left side of the light blue yarn and hold it there with my thumb. I'm going to knit my light blue, release that gray, knit another light blue. Those are the five light blue that I needed to make. If you look at the back, I caught my float there. Now I'm going to knit with the gray. And I'm at the end of my round. So that is how I catch my floats, and it keeps the back looking tidy and clean, helping prevent snagging. And I hope that helps, and please rewatch the video if you need to see that again. Thank you.